Welcome to Cooking with Smoke and Bunny. Tonight we're continuing our uh, easy recipe of what to do with rabbit carcass. Okay, so we'll cook my ex-wife back after this. Welcome back. Okay, so we're going to cook a rabbit stock tonight. And uh, we're going to take that celery back there. And we're going to take some of that lemongrass and the onion and the flat leaf parsley. Put it all into the water with, uh, with the rabbit carcass, the bones, you know. And uh, then, well, you'll see. It's going to be good. And then we'll use that for other things. Okay, so anyway, all right, here we go. Okay, let's go do that. Okay. You always want to put celery in your stock there. So you're just going to cut this thing up. You're just going to make chunks, right? Just good big chunks there. So you don't have to worry about it. So we got our lemongrass here. Remember, the end doesn't look so good. So we'll cut that off. Get rid of that part there. And then we'll just cut it up into chunks like that. See? You just keep going like that. The lemongrass, it, uh, it'll make it taste a little lemony. And you just fish it out of there real easy. You got your celery. We're going to throw in some parsley and an onion. And that's it. And I showed you kids how to cut up onions before. And all this stuff you can get in the store. So you don't need to worry about going to the garden. And bringing back memories of, uh, you know, what, what used to be, so to speak. Oh, she and I used to have a good time. You ever heard that expression about rabbits? Oh, forget it. Eh. Ah, that's all over now. There's nothing left for that. She's dead, we've eaten her. And now it's time to make stock with her bones. Just chunks like that, okay, kids? That's all you want. Come here, come here, onion. Hey, see, you just get it, you grab it, you just go, hey, come here, onion. And you smack it up like that, right? So you get these chunks, yeah. Okay, see, you don't even worry if you don't know how to chop a knife properly. You don't know how to do it right. Ah, oh, right this, right that. As long as it gets cut up, that's what matters. So there you go. You got everything all cut up. You're just going to toss it all in there with a little bit of water. And that'll steam it nicely. And then we'll add our cleaned off bones and just let it cook for a while. We got her there soaking in water. So that what we're going to do is we're going to get all the fat off of that thing. And we're going to get all of the matzo meal off it. And then we're going to take it and we're going to put it in with the stock. Okay, so that's what's going to happen there. And then that'll cook down and it'll give a nice flavor. But you want to get off all the gunk that you cooked it with a little bit. You know, you don't want those, those chunky things floating around. But don't worry about it too much because no matter what you do, it's going to taste good, okay? So you go and you get your large pot on the stove there. You put your heat on there to low. Uh, and you let it get a little hot then. Uh, you're going to add in the vegetables. So uh, we'll show you how that's done, okay? So we're just going to get in there. We got to check and see if it's hot. You got to look in there and you can see. Is it hot yet? See, I don't know. But I'm gonna, it doesn't matter if it's hot yet or not. Hot or not. Pan. Not hot. Maybe hot. It's starting to smoke, kids. You just toss everything in there. Always add your filtered water for good health. And that's enough there. You don't need to add more water than that. You're just going to steam your vegetables there. Why don't you add oil and fry them or saute them? Because you don't want oil in your stock, kids. That's why we're washing off the bones. And I always tell you to add salt or your food's going to taste like mush. Well, you want your stock to taste a little bit mushy. So you don't add salt to this. Because...
because then it'll be too strong and salty. You want to add salt when you're making your food. This is only part of it. We're not going to eat this plain. We're going to use this later for something else. So what we're doing here is steaming our vegetables. Get it all good and steaming. And then you're just going to slip your, slip your bones in there. Cover that with water. And let it cook for a while. Oh yeah. I always liked looking at her ribs. Sometimes that's hot, you know? Okay, so when you got your stock there and it's boiling there and you got it all steamed up, right? Toss the greens right in there and that's all you got to worry about. And then you're done, right? You just let the thing sit for a couple of hours. Uh, we'll skim some stuff off the top. I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Other than that, you don't do nothing, but you just uh, smoke some cigarettes and drink some beers and don't worry about it. You see, making stock with a was much, much easier than having a relationship with her. You just throw everything in the pan and boom, you're done. No complications, no games, no nothing. Okay, so anyway, you get it, all right. Once you cook your stock for about anywhere between two and eight hours, then you want to strain it out. You always want to strain out your stock. You pour it in here like this, right? See all the liquid runs in there. And there you go, and that's how you do it. And then you turn it upside down. Dump everything. Ah, oh, doesn't that look good? Look at all that stuff in there. You can see the lemongrass and the, all the parsley and the rabbit and the celery. Get it up like this, see? You shake all the water out there, you shake all the stock in there. And then you pull it off. And there you go. And that's what you got. Now we're going to set that in the fridge and we're going to let it cool down. And then we're going to scrape all the fat scum off the top once it's cold because it'll solidify. You see that stuff there? That'll all get hard and then we can scrape it off. And then we'll use it to make risotto. So, all right. We'll see you then. <clears throat> all right. <laughs>